Howdy gang, Frankie Day here, getting back again to YouTube. Okay boys, uh, for tonight they got the update number one for Craig Huff's World War One biplane group build featuring my card kit by WAC, which is the uh, Sandra Belilia, which is a 1918 World War One biplane, came in late during 1918, just almost at the end of the First World War. And it was actually built by the Italians. It actually was flown by the Signal Corps with the kit to fix Polish markings for the Polish Signal Corps of 1918. And uh, this is the Polish squadron. All card kit here, fellas. All the papers, like the rest of them I've been building right here. Unusual fuselage uh, configuration. You can see almost like that of a tadpole. And. Uh, the few slots construction of this aircraft primarily was all birch, all shellacked birch wood, which was actually captured quite well on the card uh, printing of this kit. And uh, actually, I gave it the uh, the gloss look by airbrushing five coats of uh, a Krylon clear on it. It actually uh, kind of sprucing up the uh, the gloss of the uh, natural wood as it's supposed to be duplicated on the card stock. This is going to be a fast build, fellas. So I'm working actually on three at a time, and I'll probably have some plastic kits. These little bag air fix kits, like uh, air fix, I mean, uh, these Frog Noble kits I got are, are calling on me. I like to build a couple of those. But I got to finish up my plate first before I get a plastic, guys. I got to get German Panzer, Panzers, uh, Styrene Panzers, German, wool, uh, German Bomber Group build. I got to get my 88 done. And if we're doing any plastic, so right now I'm on a card kit right now. So I'll be working on my short sundering when I finish this up. And by the latter of the week, I'll have a video of my short sundering to the bare bones of the fuselage. The next to be the skins. By tomorrow, I'll have a video of my B-26 Marauder, the paper model building thread I'm going to do uh, in other form. I uh, should have the nacelles on on. Uh, I'm a B-26 by tomorrow. I have a video on that. If I have one or two on, whatever it will be, it'll be another video of that. Keep you guys on your toes a little bit. Keep me too on my toes. There's George Truly right there, the man. That's old Frank right there. And we'll zoom in and finish up the video, fellas. I'd like to thank everybody for your wonderful uh, comments you've been putting out on my uh, well, recent builds and posts I've been making lately, videos I've making lately. Uh, I'm very truly sorry, fellas. I really have been commenting back on the on the on your wonderful comments. So I, I promise to uh, get back on that. I'm too busy with all these projects going on. I just don't have time. And uh, somehow I got to learn how to make time. Okay, fellas, as the clock ticks, we're coming almost near the video right here. Uh, I should have another video of this about three or four days from now, but in the next video you'll see you'll see the wings on this airplane. And the uh, undercarriage and everything else will be on it. Next thing I'll be rigging, I'll be using a needle and uh, some monofilament to do the rigging on this thing. And I'll come out quite nice when we get done. So I'm gonna put it away a little drive for the night and go on the Sunderland and get the aft part of the fuselage hooked up to the port uh, the front section and uh, get it prepared for the skin covering. Okay boys, I'd like to thank everybody out there for, for tuning in and may God bless and happy modeling and uh, hope everybody had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. It's Frankie Day signing off. Bye boys.